Well, hello there, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Zap Hydro, and welcome to another One Shot Wonder. This time we're playing Scribblenauts Unlimited, a game where you can create pretty much anything, including your own little Zaffy boy. I can feel your judging glares through the computer screen. It's very distracting. Please, please stop. Anyway, so... We are here at the Punctuation Plaza with this... Mm, I don't even know. And I'm going to create some things. And we will... And we will have the fun times. You up there. You don't exist. Go away. Anyway, yeah, I, I will see you in the Object Create All. Hope you'll be able to figure out what I'm doing as I figure out what I'm doing. Because quite frankly, I haven't played this game in a very long time. What better creature to start with than a Minotaur, of course. What, did you think I was going to do anything different? <laughs> no, Minotaurs are the obvious thing. Anyways, first thing we're going to do, we're going to decapitate the sucker. Now, if we click this, we can give him a new head. Um, um... This can only go right. Hey, there's a female? I didn't know that there was a female vampire in this game. Oh. Whoops. Hang on. Okay, now if I click this. Okay, that's too big. It's too... Perfect. There. This is exactly what comes to everyone's mind when they think Minotaur. That's what comes to my mind, at least. I don't know what's wrong with you people. Um, okay, the toga is part of his body. Good. I know exactly what to do. First off, we move this over here, or... No, wait. There we go. Make sure that it is not blocking his luxurious locks. You know, the first thing about many vampires that people notice is their prominent nostrils. Or noses. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Now then, um, what are we gonna do next, this guy? Hmm. Hmm. I think I've got an idea. Right, first off, those limbs, they have got to go, sweetheart. It might, might seem a bit wrong, but that's okay, but that's okay. Now you are nothing but, oh dear, oh dear. That, okay, now you're beautiful. But you were always beautiful to me. I think I've thoroughly creeped everyone out by this point. Let's give him a beard. Oh, that just looks like chest hair. Say... Okay, no. Hmm. You thought this was a vampire, but in reality, it is the great supervillain, Captain Incognito! He doesn't have many friends. Or many enemies. Really, he lives a, lives a very lonely life as a supervillain. Wait. No, there's something horribly wrong with this picture. There we go. Now he is Captain Incognito. Yeah, no, wait. Can you, for crying out loud, stop moving. Hair. Now no one knows who you are. If there is one thing about in Captain Incognito that captures everyone's attention, which is kind of bad considering who he is, it is his muscular arms. I mean, they're tiny as hell, get out. But they're muscular arms. 
And in the end, isn't that what really matters? Certainly not my, my sanity certainly doesn't matter. Beautiful. Now all he needs are his legs. And this majestic creature will be completed. Oh, I'm sorry. Did I say legs? I meant body of a naga. Legs. Don't judge me. Now then. Bow before him. For he is beautiful. Kind of. We don't really know what he looks like. I mean, he is <laughs> Captain Incognito after all. Nobody knows what the guy looks like. Not even himself. He has amnesia. And he constantly fights against good. Because he wishes to steal what he believes could be a cure to the identity problems. Glue solvent, basically. Yeah, he, he can't get those things off his face. Yeah. I'm sure I could do more to this guy. Mm, nah, that's trying too hard. Let's see him move. Oh dear. Yeah, I might have to fix that. Fun fact, clearly all Captain Incognito can remember about himself is that he had the nickname Stumpy in high school. He's a very vengeful person. Person. <laughs> yeah. Captain Incognito! Yeah! Congratulations, Captain Incognito, for you are created! And, yeah, we are back when I finish giving him his name and all the, his properties. Here he is, the majestic Captain Incognito. He's also very angry. You can't... Ah, I'm invincible. Okay, you know what? Screw it, I'm just gonna create Captain Incognito's arch nemesis. Farewell! It is time to create Captain Incognito's opposite. How do we do that? Decapitated vampire. And now... We bring out the Minotaur! Beautiful. Stop moving. There. I present to you. No, that's not gonna work, is it? In order to create this great and mighty hero, he needs to be the exact opposite of everything Captain Incognito is. Whereas he, Captain Incognito, Went by the nickname Stumpy in high school. This majestic beast of a man went by the name Beefcake. Or something. I don't know. Look, I'm making this up as I go along, okay? It's kind of obvious, but just in case you people needed to know, I'm making this up as I go along. No wonder everybody called this guy Beefcake. Look at those sick guns! Please don't leave. And much like the um, Captain Incognito lacks legs, this guy has got the legs of an eagle. Technically, it's a rock, but a rock is a giant eagle. Ah, oh, come on, be a bit loose with the definition, would you? Be loose with your definitions, not with your spouse. I should probably stop talking. Whereas Captain Incognito was hidden even from himself. Pretty much everyone at and their mother knows about this guy and his crazy... ...ness. Again, I'm making this stuff as I go along. You can't expect it's award-winning material. Though if you did, I'd have to question your choice of um, viewing material. That's better. You cannot stand against this guy. 
and not be struck down by his fabulosity guns, which are also his hands. He is the very, very resourceful. Wherever he is, we're still not sure ourselves. Kind of embarrassing considering he's our hero and all. Fear not, everybody. For Commander Fabulous is here to save you all and to show you you can still be fabulous and wear a suit. And as soon as his AI is completed, he and Captain Incognito will do battle for everyone's souls. I think. Not sure what's on the line here other than everyone's brain cells. Actually, I think everyone's brain cells would be better intact if you just didn't watch it all. It's time for Commander Fabulous to save the day. Oh. Oh dear, that is a... That's a... That's a nuclear explosion. It killed me. Crap, I, I think I... Well, you killed me for just a split second. Now it's time to turn the favor. Wait. Where did it... Oh, there it is. Wait. How did... I thought that was gonna... You see this? It... It's not hurting me either. I, uh, I got my revenge, but I wanted to kill myself too. Don't take that out of context. Hey, what's this? Oh. Well, it's beeping. That's a good sign, right? I know what I must do. There, I'm completely and utterly safe. Absolutely nothing will. Well. That was... That was an effective bomb shelter. Anyways, guys, I'll see you in the next video. Good, long, drawn-out, squeaky goodbye. Uh, something. I'm kind of dead. I can't, I, can't, I can't afford to think about this stuff.